All right, students, I just made my first brain pop video, and I want to show you a little bit about how I did it and um, give you some confidence that you can do it too. If I could figure it out, I know you can too. All right, so the very first thing you're going to do is write your letter. So you got to watch your video, take the quiz, ask your question, do your research and find the answer, and then you're going to come back to make a movie on your brain pop account so you can click edit letter and my question was do athletes have bigger hearts than non-athletic people and i just typed that in there and then you go to your first slide and i just typed in athletes because that's what my topic is and look at all the pictures we found okay i found tons of pictures that i could use and I just clicked on one and dragged it over here. Okay, I can add him, all right, if I wanted to. All right, and I'm gonna add these people here. Okay, so I got myself some athletes. Okay, um, now I wanted to record my voice and I'm going to, um, Add, I'm going to record my voice. I'm going to make a little recording. Athletes' bodies are often conditioned, their muscles are strong, and you might wonder is their heart bigger or stronger as well? Let's take a look. Okay, so I recorded my own voice, and that's going to be part of the video, and we're going to see that. I'm going to click Save. Okay, I didn't put any words on that one, but this next one I'm going to write, I, I added some words. Now, it only lets you add so many per line, and I just answered the question right away. You don't have to do it that way. Athletes may have slightly larger hearts after physical training. Okay, so in order to get those words there, I clicked annotate, and you can have it in black background or white. Just click, tap, and type. Okay, and that's how you get your text in your um, slide. Okay, and you do this and come through. And again, I added another sound here. All right, and every time you want to add a new slide, you come to the end and click Add Scene. All right. Um, you can drag them from one place to another, okay? If you want to change the order of your scenes, you may do that. Um, you can have, if you don't want to do your own voice, um, you can do add sound and have it to use the computer voice. And you can write, I'm going to put, how do muscles get their energy and then i'm going to say i want it to be male voice because it's going to be moby talking okay and then um you can click here to test it how do muscles get their energy okay and i'm going to click save all right so after all of this is done and you I, I um, did all my slides, um, you can use arrows, like I added this arrow here. Um, you're gonna wanna do, um, let's see here. The very last thing, your, your very last slide has to be your resource because remember we're gonna be um, assessed on Criterion D so I use Stanford Healthcare. Um, that's my resource. So I added it right here to the very end. Um, it's really important. Okay, so after you save it and preview it, um, I will be able to check it out, all right? And this is how you're going to get your grade. You're gonna get your grade by, did you find a good resource to find the answer to your question? And did you show me that you know something about the circulatory system? You do not need to go into as much detail as I did. Okay, I might have gotten a little carried away. 
you should have between like five, like I, I would say you can have five slides and it should be at least a minute long, okay? Um, shouldn't be more than two minutes long because um, that's not really necessary. So like between one and two minutes long, between five and 10 slides, I went higher. If you wanna go higher, you can. But between five and 10 slides, one to two minutes long should do the trick. Thank you, I can't wait to see what you get. I cannot wait to see what you make.